Hi mga kawamat! In this video, we will discuss harmonic sequence. So, where do we usually hear the word harmonic? We usually hear this word in math and in music. The term harmonic is often associated with musical sounds and strings instruments. A tone which is twice the frequency of the fundamental frequency is called the second harmonic while a tone which is thrice the frequency of the fundamental frequency is what we call the third harmonic. Alright, so example, I have here a guitar. In a guitar, the length of the string is proportional to the number of vibrations of the string per second. So, akala natin, uh, basta nagkakabit lang ng string doon, no? but uh, it's actually proportional to the number of vibrations of the string per second. So thus, a set of strings whose lengths are proportional produces a harmonious sound. If x is the length of the string of a guitar, then the sequence of the lengths of the string is x, x over 2, x over 3, and x over 4, and so on. Or, it produces a sequence, a harmonic sequence, which is 1, one half, one third, and one fourth, and so on. So we have the harmonic sequence one, one half, one third, and one fourth. Now, if we will be getting the reciprocal of this harmonic sequence, we will have one, two, three, four, and so on. So when we say reciprocal, um, etong denominator natin ay mapupunta sa numerator and then yung numerator, yun ang mapupunta sa denominator. Now, since ang denominator natin ay magiging 1, no need to write 1 sa ating denominator. Alright? And uh, if, as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4 is an example of arithmetic sequence. So, what do you think is the relationship of these two? Alright, so let's define harmonic sequence. Uh, how does uh, arithmetic sequence connected to harmonic sequence? Okay, so it, this is a sequence whose reciprocals form an arithmetic sequence which is called a harmonic sequence. So in other words, um, um, arith uh, harmonic sequence is just the reciprocal of the arithmetic sequence. So, uh, focus tayo dun sa word na reciprocal. Pag sinabi natin harmonic sequence, this is just the reciprocal of your arithmetic sequence. Alright? So, the end term of a harmonic sequence is given by, so also, we will be using the formula in finding the end term of the arithmetic sequence. So, diba, in finding the end term of the arithmetic sequence, we are using the formula A sub 1, plus the quantity of n minus 1 times the d, d or the common difference. Now, since we are getting the harmonic sequence, we will just use the reciprocal of the formula of finding the n term of the arithmetic sequence. And that is 1 over a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d, which is your common difference. So, as you can see, this is just the reciprocal of the formula of finding the n term of your arithmetic sequence. So, reciprocal lang siya. So, this is the formula for harmonic sequence. Alright. So, let's have first an activity. So, let's see if you can get the a harmonic sequence given, given the arithmetic sequence. So, I have here 1, 5, 9, 13. Okay? So, for us to find the next terms of the given arithmetic sequence, paano ba natin siya kukunin? Of course, we have to look for D o yung common difference natin. So, paano ba kinukuha ang D? We have to subtract uh, your first term from your second term, or uh, a sub 2 minus a sub 1. Okay, so 5 minus 1, that is 4. So, therefore, our common difference, or yung d natin, is equal to 4. So, paano natin kukunin ng next term? Ipa-plus natin siya. Since uh, from right to left, nagsisubtract tayo, therefore, from left to right, mag a naman tayo ng 4. Okay, so, but always remember na ang pagkuha ng common difference ay dito tayo. Okay, 
So, second term minus your first term. Alright. So, 13. So, what do you think is the next term? So, 13 plus 4, that is 17. Okay, let us apply the harmonic sequence, which is the reciprocal of your arithmetic sequence. So, we will have... 1, okay, since the reciprocal is 1, is also 1, is still 1, okay, and then 1 over 5, 1 over 9, 1 over 13, since ang next term natin dito ay 17, so therefore, ang next term din dito ay 1 over 17. So, next, we have 6, 2, negative 2, negative 6. So, for us to find the next term, how, uh, what are you going to uh, find? You have to look for... The common difference, which is your D. So, 2 minus 6, that is negative 4. So, the D or your common difference is negative 4. So, therefore, the next term here is negative 6 plus negative 4, that is negative 10. Okay, so the next term here is negative 10. So, let us get the harmonic sequence. So, it's just the reciprocal. So, 1 over 6, 1 over 2. Negative 1 over 2, negative 1 over 6. Now, this since this is negative 10, so yung next din dito is negative 1 over 10. Next, I have 7, 15 over 2, 8, 17 over 2, and so on. So, how are we going to find the common difference? So, again, 15 over 2 minus 7, so that is 1 half. Paano natin nakuha ang 1 half? Kasi we will have uh, 15 over 2 minus 7. So, you can um, ano siya, find the LCD and then subtract. Okay? So, the common difference is 1 half. So, hindi na natin ipapakita yung solution. Okay? So, 1 half ang common difference natin. So, therefore, 17 over 2 plus 1 half since similar fraction sila. So, 17 plus 1, that is 18. And then, copy the common denominator which is 2. So, 18 divided by 2. Therefore, ang next natin dito, next term natin is 9. Okay? So, let us find the common, uh, harmonic sequence of the given arithmetic sequence. So, that is 1 over 7. Reciprocal nito. So, remember ha, pag sinabing reciprocal, um, pagpapalitin natin ng pwesto ang numerator and denominator. So, therefore, ang reciprocal nito is 2 over 15. And then this one, since this is 8 over 1, so 1 over 8. And then this one, 2 over 17. So, since ang next natin dito ay 9, so ibig sabihin, ang next rin dito ay 1 over 9. So, remember that your harmonic sequence is just the reciprocal of your arithmetic sequence. That's why these two are related to each other. Okay, so let's have an example. Find the next two terms of the harmonic sequence. So, you are asked to find the next two terms of the harmonic sequence. So, again, for us to find the next terms, gamitin natin yung concept ng arithmetic sequence. So, kunin natin yung reciprocal niyan. Diba? Sabi ko nga, harmonic sequence is just the reciprocal of arithmetic sequence. So, kung kukunin natin ng arithmetic sequence nito, we will have 30, 26, 22. So, kunin natin to. Pag nakuha natin to, Kunin lang natin yung reciprocal niya. Alright? So, kunin natin ang common difference. So, 26 minus 30, that is negative 4. So, therefore, 22 plus negative 4, that is 18. And then, 18 plus negative 4, that is 14. Okay. So, makukuha na natin ito. Ano ang reciprocal ni 18? That is 1 over 18. Ano ang reciprocal ni 14? That is 1 over 14. So, find the next two terms. The next two terms are 1 over 18 and 1 over 14. Next. So, I have here 4 over 15, 2 over 9, 4 over 21, 1 over 6. So, you are asked to find the next two terms. So, again, kunin ang arithmetic uh, sequence, which is the re reciprocal. So, we will have 15 over 4. 9 over 2, 21 over 4, since this is 1 over 6, so 6 na lang siya. Okay, so paano natin kukunin? Find the common difference. So, 9 over 2 minus 15 over 4. Okay? So, isolve natin. So, pwede kayong gumamit ng ba... Actually, when you are solving fractions, you can make use of the LCD or the butterfly method. 
Okay? So, um, para mas madaling maintindihan, ito, 9 times 4, that is 36. And then this one, 15 times 2, that is 30. So, 36 minus 30, that is 6. And then 2 times 4, that is 8. So, multiply nyo to, multiply nyo to, multiply nyo to. So, this is 36 minus 30, that is 6, over 2 times 4, that is 8. So, uh, 6 over 8, that is 3 fourths. Pag nireduce natin yung 6 over 8, that is 3 fourths. So, therefore, ang common difference nito ay 3 fourths. So, mag a tayo ng 3 fourths sa 6. So, 6 plus 3 fourths, ganun ulit. Pwede nyo i-apply yung butterfly method, yung tinuro ko kanina. 6 times 4, that is 24. And then, 3 times 1, di ba may parang 1 tayo dyan? So, 3 times 1, so 24 plus 3 times 1, 3. So, 24 plus 3, that is 27. And then, 1 times 4, that is 4. So, 27 over 4. So, this is 27 over 4. Next, mag add ulit tayo ng, 20, uh, ng 3 fourths sa 27 over 4. Now, since similar fraction naman ito, so, uh, uh, add the numerator, that is 27 plus 30, at uh, plus 3, that is 30. And then, copy the common denominator, which is 4. So, 30 over 4, pwede pa natin siya i-reduce to lowest term. So, that is 15 over 2. So, therefore, this is 15 over 2. Now, this is the arithmetic sequence. So, kung kukunin natin ng harmonic sequence, balik tayo dito. So, kunin lang natin ng reciprocal niya. That is 4 over 27 and 2 over 15. Let's have another example. So, find the 8th term of the harmonic sequence. So, I have here 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 over 6, and so on. So, first, get the arithmetic, uh, the reciprocal or the arithmetic sequence of the given or harmonic sequence. And that is 2, 4, 6. So, again, when we are getting the uh, arithmetic sequence, we are just getting its reciprocal. Okay, so let us identify a sub 1 since we are getting the 8th term so masyado siyang malayo. We can apply the formula. Uh, the formula for the uh, arithmetic, uh, finding the nth term of arithmetic sequence. So since harmonic sequence ito, reciprocal tayo. Okay, so a sub 1, our a sub 1 is 2. Our uh, d, the common difference is 2 kasi 4 minus 2 that is 2. And then our n, since ang hinahanap natin ay 8 terms, so our n is 8. Now, let us apply the formula of uh, finding the nth term of our harmonic sequence. So, again, this is the formula in finding the nth term for arithmetic sequence. Now, since harmonic sequence tayo, naglagay, kinuha lang natin yung reciprocal niya. Okay, kaya may 1 dito. Okay, so let us substitute the values. So, we will have 1 over, your a sub 1 is 2, plus your n is 8, and then minus 1, your common difference is 2. So, 8 minus 1, that is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus 2. So, we will have 1 over 16. So, therefore, the 8th term is 1 over 16. So, yung pang 8th term natin dito is 1 over 16. Next. Find the 25th term of this harmonic sequence. So, I have 1 fourth, 1 over 14, 1 over 24, and so on. So, we will have, so, kunin natin ang reciprocal, that is 4, 14, 24. So, we are looking for the 25th term. So, let us identify first a sub 1, which is your 4, so yung first term. D, the common difference is 10. Y, 10, because 14 minus 4, that is 10. And then your n is 25 since we are looking for the 25th term. Okay? Um, by uh, you, uh, applying the formula, so we have 1 over a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times the common difference. So substitute the values. We have 1. Your a sub 1 is 4. Your n is 25 minus 1. Your common difference is 10. So, 25 minus 1, that is 24 times 10, that is 240 plus 4. So, we will have 1 over 244. So, therefore, our 25th term is 1 over 244.
hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.